Right, I am the host of the show. I need the perfect look. I do my hair tall, check my nails. We also have an incredible lineup of performances. When One Direction broke up, we didn't give this one a hope in hell. The runt of the litter, old plain Jane on the end. But somehow he has managed to drag himself out of Niall's shadow. Harry Styles is here! <laughs> the great thing about the Brits is it can really help to support new talent. Young upstarts like this next fellow who barely has 34.1 million followers to his name. You may not have heard of him yet, but you sure will do after this performance. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. This is Harry Styles with his beautiful ballad, Falling. Wow, such a beautiful performance. Thank you so much, Harry Styles. The nominees for the Male Solo Artist of the Year. Male Solo Artist in association with Amazon Music. Harry Styles. There must be something in the world. Lewis Capaldi. Every day it's getting colder. I grew up in Stratton. Day. Teachers were giving man tests. Same time the man they were giving out testers. I got paintings giving man stress. My brothers don't die, we just rusty. Stormzy. I'm so my rusty, I'ma open up a rusty shop. Mommy saying that I need to get some sleep. All this flying overseas is always f***ing up my body clock. Michael Kuanuka. Time heals the pain. You ain't the problem. Right. And the winner, upside down, is Stormzy! Well, congratulations to Stormzy for winning the first of his three nominations this evening. It's the second time he's been crowned Male Solo Artist of the Year at the Brits taking home the award in 2018. 2019 was also a huge year for the South London rapper. He released his second album, Heavy Is The Head, giving him another number one record. And the winner is... The absolute best! Tyler, the creator. Wow, that is amazing for Tyler, the creator, taking home his first ever Brit Award. Last May, he released his fifth album, Igor. It reached the top five in the UK and became his first number one album in the US. The record features some huge guest appearances from Kanye, Pharrell, and Solange. In September last year, he played three sold-out shows in London. He returns to Europe this summer to tour. Wow.
What a Brits collaboration that was. It feels like finally the Brits might have eclipsed that time. Brian May duetted with the boy band five. Billie Eilish. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Lizzo. Lizzo, that was incredible, that performance to watch. How was it to perform on the Brit stage? There was so much energy. Like, they could have did the whole performance for me. They could have wore the corset and had the sexy dudes walk them down the stairs, because the Brits turned up. Yes, we turned up. Because this is the thing, you're the most positive person I've ever met. British people, notoriously grumpy. How do we as a nation be more Lizzo? You just listen to Lizzo. Just buy my album. <laughs> he loves grumpy. <laughs> You heard it here. Just go and buy her album. That's how we can be happier as a nation. Um, I want to talk about Glastonbury. I saw you at Glastonbury. You absolutely slayed it. How did you enjoy Somerset? How? Wait, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Somerset, Glastonbury. It's in your eyes. Oh, my God. OK, well, we have to talk about something else. I saw this performance of you and Mr. Harry Styles. It was very racy. Oh, he's just there. I have to say, when I saw it, I was a little jealous. Is it nice to see Harry? Oh, I'm now dead to her. Harold, back off. Wait, you, you said you were jealous? I was a little jealous when I watched it. You know, I thought maybe if you... I'm not jealous of... I just thought if you wanted an Englishman, maybe you wanted something a little bit more mature, maybe a little posher. What are you jealous of? Oh, my God, I'm so jealous right now. I can't, I can't bear this. OK, look, Lizzo, we move on. Just back off, Styles. This is my moment. I want to talk to you about the flute. You have done so much for the fluting community. Um, you're an inspiration to flautists everywhere. Don't take my word for it. We actually invited down uh, to the show uh, some members of the Flautists of London Associated Performance Society, or FLAPS. They're here this evening. Until your album came out, Derek here had only played solos, if you know what I mean. Isn't that right, Derek? I've been getting so much juice. Oh, my God. OK. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, Lizzo, thank you so much. It is an honour to have you here. Take that flute. I don't know whether they actually work. Derek, can you stop staring down the camera? It's weird. It's a flute. Oh my... I feel like, um, I feel like a snake in a basket. I've just been snared. OK. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's coming up after the break. I don't really care right now. There's probably some more music. It's an award. Goodbye. I'll see you in a moment. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh my God, thank you, Sporty. <laughs> um, geez, before I say anything, um, Lizzo, Ariana, Camilla, Lana, you're the only reason I exist, so thank you for you guys. You deserve this. <laughs> um, geez, um, Lizzo, I mean, <laughs> I'm I at London. Um, <laughs> London has always felt like a second home to me. <laughs> I just stuttered and said your name. Oh my God. Um, um, I've, I've felt very hated recently. And when I was on the stage and I saw you guys all smiling at me. <laughs> um, it genuinely made me want to cry. And I want to cry right now. <laughs> Congratulations to Billie Eilish. Look who I'm here with Harry Styles. Yeah. Harold, Hello. you've been coming to these awards for 10 years. What is your favorite, sorry to make you feel old, uh, but what's your favorite Brits memory? Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, I have to admit, I, I didn't even want to talk to him. It was just an excuse to get closer to you again, Lizzo. Um, we do, look, I think this could work as a little, Triplet. Um, Harold, yes, you can join. Okay. <laughs> cut, the cam cut the cameras off. This is going to be the best after party ever. Oh my God. Um, okay. Do you know what Somerset is yet? No. <laughs> okay. Harold, that was the best thing ever. What is a Somerset? Okay. So, Harry Styles, let's talk about you. You've been coming for 10 years. That's where we were. I'm very casual right now. Um, you were on The X Factor in 2010, which is like three Simon Cowell faces ago. Um, 
you know, back then, you, no, you can't laugh at that. I'm allowed to, you're not. Um, you, you were a little cheeky chappy with the jaunty bow tie, the mop on his head. Back then, I think if you told people that you were going to be writing these critically acclaimed albums, some people might be surprised. How cool is it that your solo stuff is being taken so seriously? Did you not take me seriously, Jack? No, I've, al I've always taken you up all night. That is my Sergeant Pepper, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I have always respected you as a solo artist and in 1D. I want to just say one thing, though. Um, I read somewhere that you said that psychedelic drugs had been consumed during the making of your album. Now, ITV does not condone that, so I'm not going to ask which psychedelic drugs your stylist was on. But... Um, <laughs> It's clearly working a treat, Harold. The ladies go crazy for Mr. Harry Styles. Yes. I don't want, I don't want to pry. Have you brought someone with you tonight? Is this is one of these ladies your date? It's my sister. It's your sister? Oh, God. OK, sorry. No, not, that's great. Keep it in the fam... Not keep it in the family. I mean, it's nice to bring your family... I brought my mum. I brought my mum with me. Um, it's Hillary. How is Hillary? Hillary, she's good. It's weird that you know her name. <laughs> she's over there, probably throwing herself at Rod Stewart. No, Harry, sit down. Sit down. Um, Harold, I, I could just stay here all night. This is a great area. Um, we've got so many icons that must have inspired you. Um, do you look at Sir Rod and Ronnie and think, you know, a few more hits, a couple more albums, maybe some tours, six or seven wives and a metric ton of Viagra. That could be me in 100 years' time. I mean, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Sorry. 2070, Harry Styles, Nar Horan. That could be the Rod Stewart and the Ronnie Wood of the future. I'd love to see that. Hopefully I will still be alive by then. Harold, always a pleasure. What is this? Apple juice? Oh, God, that's tequila. OK, <laughs> thank you very much. That is literally neat tequila. He has gone off the rails. OK, join us after the break. When we... It's seriously, Lizzo, that is, that's neat tequila. Oh, my God! Yes! Oh, yeah! Woo! OK, it's time for another break. I don't know what's happening after it. Maybe Stormzy. Yeah, it's Stormzy. Oh, my God, I've ruined your suit.